It was on this day in rock history, April 18, 1992, that Def Leppard started a five-week run at number one on the U.S. album chart with Adrenalize. This was the first album for the band following the death of their lead guitarist, Steve Clark, a year earlier. Clark had already recorded demos for the album before he was found dead from a combination of pills and alcohol. And when it came time to record the guitar tracks, the other guitar player, Phil Collin, played his parts and Steve's and said the experience felt schizophrenic like Steve was playing through him. Death Leopard recorded the album as a four-piece band, adding Vivian Campbell from Whitesnake and Dio to the lineup soon after. So yeah, it was on this day, April 18th, 1992, that Death Leopard's last number one album would top the charts.